How you doing guys, Mucho back and today we are going to be looking at the support RDA from Watofo. Let's take a look. So yeah, today guys we are going to be looking at the support... Sorry, just sit myself down there. Good Need to get comfortable, see, strap yourselves in, it could be a bumpy ride. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be looking at the support RDA from Watofo. Um, this is a 22mm um, atomizer. This one is made from stainless steel. Uh, we are running, uh, it has a top airflow design. So obviously your air comes in, it travels down the uh, air, air, air flow control ring, legs there. Um, so as you're sucking uh, in, air's getting drawn in, it goes down onto your coils. And then back out. So obviously just make sure that your airflow control as normal is just stented in your coil. Um, we are using the uh, POM broad cap that comes with this uh, RDA. So you don't have to worry about going out and buying yourself some chuffed caps or some just like stupidly wide bought drip tips. So let's take a vape and I'll show you what it can do. really good flavor this is wide open still getting a really good flavor uh, obviously as normal if you close down the airflow it does get a bit warmer but it does intensify that flavor got a beautiful flavor this atomizer obviously as you can tell it's great for clouds as well it does take in quite a lot of air Get out of the way from the camera, I don't like that. So, uh, this is sitting on top of the um, tank crossing uh, mod. This is a dual parallel 18650 wooden box mod. Uh, I have done a review for this, go and check that out. Um, the build I have is a dual um, six wrap, just standard campful build, it's 22 gauge. Um, Firing away nicely. That came out at 0 0.24 ohms. And um, then batteries are charged yesterday. Um, I was using this RDA yesterday just to familiar for, I can't talk familiarize myself with it. That's def, that's still not right, but that's as best you can. Um, uh, so yeah, I just went back over a few things. Uh, I've I got some pros and I've got some cons. But I'll tell you about that in a minute. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we will take you down to the table. Uh, I'll show you how it came, um, how it's packaged, and then we'll bring it back up top, talk on it, vape on it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. See you in a sec, guys. So yeah, guys, this is your support RDA in the box, how it came to me. As you can see, we've got some brand new packaging for Watofo. Uh, logo up in the top, uh, the support logo across the, uh, the front there. Uh, immediate sides, not too much. Um, on the back, we have your the old scratch and sniff uh, motif going on, and uh, a warning there. Uh, on the top, SS sticker to say this one is stainless steel, and the support logo, and the same again on the other corner. So, if we take the top off, here we have a card uh, to let you know what is in the package. Obviously, we have the support RDA itself, we have a 510 drip tip and adapter, uh, the deck, uh, one broad cap, and O-rings and screwdrivers. Um, a little support card there as well. So in the box, as you can see, we have the RDA itself, there's our broad cap, and there is our fire, there is a um, stainless steel uh, cap as well. Uh, take this out, it is a little bit fiddly to get everything out of this packaging, it is packed very, very tightly. It's my box, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, 
So here is the actual RDA itself. As you can see, it has the 510 adapter, uh, drip tip adapter in it already. Leave it there so it doesn't roll around. There is our broad cap. And our stainless steel drip tip as well. Uh, also in the box, we have uh, some spare grub screws, a lot of O-rings, and a new, rather than the uh, blue screwdriver, we have a, a Watofo branded um, screwdriver there. So we have a um, Phillips or crosshead on the front top there, and two different size Allen keys as well. Uh, let's move all this junk out of the way, and we'll start over here. So, um, let's take the top cap off. I'll show you this. So, drip tip can we use? Um, we'll even try one of them. So, um, I've not actually used the 510 drip tip adapter yet, so I've got a generic 510 drip tip. I think that's from the Delta 2, to be honest with you. Um... Is it going to go in? So the Delta 2 one doesn't fit in. We have a dot mod drip tip there. That's not going in either. Um, but we're not looking good, are we? Let's go old school. This is one of my favourite drip tips anyway. Let's see if that would fit in there. No, that doesn't fit in there either. Um, so that's one negative for the 510 drip tip adapter. There's three just different drip tips there and none of them fit. So I'm pretty sure I could find a, a drip tip to fit in it, but I'm not going to sit here all day looking. Um, just to show you the other one, that's our stainless steel drip tip there. And take that one out and the, with the broad cap. There you go. So let's break this down a little bit more. Am I going to need a mod? Yes, I am. There we go. So, this is a free, a free post daddy? No, a free post daddy. Well, it's a four post daddy, as you can tell. Um, a, f a free section design atomizer. So, obviously, we have the deck, the main barrel, and a top cap. So, let's start at the bottom here. So we have the Watofo logo on the bottom, uh, support, uh, and our um, serial number, which is W3412. That's there. Uh, on the bottom there, we have an adjustable screw, an adjustable 510 pin. Um, be careful not to take that out too far. Um, it does have a tendency to drop out. Um, so if you need to release it, just bring it out slightly. And it hasn't got a very long 510 pin on this atomizer either. So I've, a couple of devices I've needed to pull that screw out a little bit more to, to make a connection. So again, we have a four post design. Uh, we have a, an insulator at the bottom in there, if you can see that little square insulator. Um, Screw holes on this, uh, the post holes on this, I think, are about two, two and a half mil. Um, they're not massive, but they can definitely take. I've been using a uh, 22 gauge canful on this, and it's been going well. Um, as you can see, the positive post is a dual block, um, and it's slightly raised above the negative post as well. Dual O rings, they do hold that barrel on nice and tight, so no issues there. Now, onto our main barrel. Not much to see, 22mm in diameter, um, support logo on the front and top airflow there. Not much else, and here is your top cap slash airflow control ring. So, as you can see the legs coming off here, that's where your air is going in. So if you have this wide open for example, air is going into there, down the leg, um, it will drop down, touch the tops of your coils and then come back out as vapour. Uh, again, o-ring on the top there. It's not overly tight, um, it does hold on nicely, it's got a little bit of resistance, but you don't want it too tight because obviously you use the top cap as your airflow control. Now I've been using this generally wide open and I've been using the broad cap, so I've been getting some amazing clouds out of this. Um, good flavour as well, 
I get a slow, slightly better flavour, obviously, as you would do if you reduce the airflow a little bit. It sort of intensifies that flavour. So, put this back together. Um, there's not much else I can tell you or show you down here, other than uh, I would tell you this: the uh, the actual stainless steel itself, um, the actual grading of it. But I've had a look around three or four different websites, and I can't actually find it. Uh, if I do find it before I upload the video, I'll either add it in on top or I'll put it as an annotation. Uh, this is the uh, stainless steel uh, edition. Uh, as with most Watofo stuff, it does come in a variety of colours. You can get black, white, pink, um, was it Tiffany blue, um, green. And I think uh, they're also doing some splatter editions as well. So like black with a green splatter, black with a red splatter, whites with different splatters as well, which do look nice, but I went for the... Um, the OG, the OG SS stainless steel. Um, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to quickly just throw some coils and some wicks in this, and then we'll get back up top, talk on it, vape on it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. Coiled. Juiced. Back up top. So there you go guys, that was my close up look at the support RDA from Watofo. Uh, as I said in the close up, I wasn't quite sure of the steel that was on this. I am still not sure, I've had another look around. Uh, if I was to guess anything, I would say 304. Um, grade stainless steel. Um, it won't be, it's still food grade. Obviously it won't be much higher than that because otherwise uh, the price point that this is set at, um, it, it just wouldn't work. So I got this from my good friends at Fast Tech. Uh, I like a bit of fast tech every now and then. Uh, I did have to wait for it. Obviously, it uh, they do state it is an authentic. Um, I had to wait a couple of weeks for it, but it is worth it. I did a big order when I did it, so I got a few things in the post. Um, now, over here in the UK, I've seen these go for about 17 to 20 pounds. Um, I paid... I can't remember now. I did have it written down. I've moved it. Um, I did pay. Hold on. I will. I will find out. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I paid eight pounds and seventy-one pence um, for this support RDA from Fastech. Pardon me. Um, so a, a few little specs. Um, quickly before I go into my positives and negatives, the POM ball cap. Uh, is an 11 millimeter bore on top. Uh, the stainless steel broad cap is 8.8 millimeters, and obviously we do have that 510 drip tip, which I'm going to touch on in a second. Um, this is a 22 mil atomizer, I believe, but it does sort of state that it's a 24. I think that might just be because of the lip on top. Uh, and as I said in the close-up, this does come in a variety of colours from the general Watofo thing. So we have like black, Tiffany blue, white, like zombie green, and they do some splatters and things like that. But obviously I went for stainless steel. So, let's get some positives out of the way. And then we will go on to my lists, my list of negatives. Um, quick drip before I do that. So my positives are... And the price that this is, whether you get it imported or whether you, um, you know, pay full UK price for this, um, it is amazingly priced. It really is. The Watofo stuff always is, uh, if that's the kind of thing you like. If you like a little, you know, a cheap to get you through, it's not even to get you through. I mean, it, they, they withhold. I mean, I've had my troll for about a year now, and I'm still using that. It's still going strong. So the price point is amazing. Um, the, the things you get in the box are, you know... It's brilliant, you, you know, the amount of O-rings you get with it, that little new tool that you get rather than the blue screwdriver. You know, you do get your broad cap with it, you do get stainless steel broad cap with it, you do get a 510 uh, drip tip uh, adapter with it. You know, they thought of everything, and the new packaging's really nice as well. You know, they've really put some thought into it. Um, Flavour on this atomizer is amazing, I'm really liking it, it's really up there with the Freak Show, and if you know, if you've seen any of my reviews, I'm a Freak Show fanboy. Um, I've got, you know, the original, the mini, the, the broad cap for it. Um, and the flavour on the Freak Show is amazing. Um, and a bit, depending on how you build it, you do get some amazing clouds out of this. And out of this, just with the top airflow there, I'm really enjoying the top airflow. Um, 
but my negative with the top air flies is it's quite noisy on this one. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Now I'm not pulling on that any harder than I normally would do, but maybe it's because the airflow is closer. To, I don't know, closer to my face. I can hear it more. I don't know. But yeah, it's quite quite a noisy airflow. Um, other negatives, I suppose. I've got, got to shoot a photo for. Um, o rings on the bottom. Uh, they do hold the top uh, the barrel quite nicely. I wouldn't want to, there you go. If you're just holding it, it's fine. But, you know, it's not totally secure. Obviously, with the spare O-rings in the pack, you can change that, but I haven't changed mine yet. Uh, these are quite juiced, and I've been using them for a few weeks, so, you know, they're not going to be perfect. Uh, O-ring on top, on that top cap is amazing, though. That's a good positive. Um, now, what else have we got? The drip tip adapter. Uh, I used, uh, in my close-up, as you saw, I used three different varieties I used you know a Delta 2 drip tip uh, one of my favorite drip tips which I've pretty much been on every atomizer that I've got uh, doesn't fit this one and I tried to use a dot mod drip tip that didn't fit either I've got loads more to try but whether they work or not is a different story um this lip thing on the top cap I don't know if you can see that sort of hangs over um I can only assume that's there to help you sort of turn the airflow control ring but even right with a drip tip, you could do it. So I'm going to put that down as a negative because I don't think it suits the atomizer. Um, what else have we got? Like I said, it's quite a noisy atomizer. So if you're not really into walking around and hearing gushes of air going everywhere, that, that's definitely a negative. Um, what else have we got? The 510 screw. Right, the, right. Both of these are going to be about the 510 pin. It's got it's got a very short uh, 510 pin. Or the 510 threading is very short. So on some of my devices, it takes a while to connect. Like with this one, it's an adjustable 510 uh, pin anyway, so I have to bring that up. The only problem with doing that is every time I unscrew it to do something, uh, if you screw it back down, sometimes it catches on that screw and it pushes it down and it doesn't make a connection. So every time you go to take a vape, you don't get it. Um, so it's a very short 510 pin. Now, obviously, you can combat that with... Um, it has this, you, an adjustable 510 pin anyway, which is a rhodium, uh, rhodium plated copper. So the, con the connectivity on this is a, you know, it's really well, and it does, it does work, but... That 510 screw is very short. Like sometimes I've got to bring it out to like quite far um, to make a connection on the device. But obviously you can only get it to about there um, before it falls out. Which pff, it might not be a negative for some, negative for me because you know I don't like mucking about. I don't always like carrying around stuff with me to use. I'd like to just go out and vape. So I would definitely say don't use this on a hybrid connection mod. Just in case you don't, that's the last thing you want to do is, you know, to attach it to a fire, um, your hybrid mod. Where you go? Uh, you don't want to attach it to your hybrid mod. Go, you know, go to fire and then you don't get anything or, you know, you vent a battery. Nobody wants that. I don't want that for you. You don't want that for you. Um, so, yeah, just don't use this one on a hybrid mod. There's plenty of other atomizers you can use on hybrids. So, maybe if you get this one, don't use it. Um, I'm failing that on this mechanical box mod. It's going really well. Um, I've tried this on regulated mods as well. A couple of my regulated mods it works fine with because they've got quite high um, positive pins. But hey ho. Um, let's just take a vape, see if there's anything else to talk about. I can't think of anything else. So I don't always sing everything's praises. I would say definitely, I would recommend buying this, but just be careful with that list of things I gave you. You know, just be careful. Um, so, on that note, that's what I've got for you today, guys. Hopefully I'll see you soon on another review. I've got a couple of things coming up, so just keep an eye out. Um, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more things coming up. Uh, within the coming months, I'm going to try and keep track of the TPD and things like that with the run-up to the May and, you know, Article 20 coming into effect uh, and whether, 
you know, what that means for me and you as vapors and the hobbyist side of things. Um, but failing that, uh, just keep an eye on my channel. Take care, guys. And remember, vaping is the way forward. So I'll, I'll catch you again soon, guys. Hi right, guys, Moonshot here, and today we're going to be looking at this support RDA from Watoka. No, we're not like that.